Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Let's deposit all these moons. On to the Luncheon Kingdom. Bowser can't run forever. Also, just quickly, there's a uh, there's an island underneath where we are currently, which looks like a champagne bottle. Um, over by the Snow Kingdom, the edges, I believe, have a like a a snowflake-like thing around it. Uh, Metro Kingdom, I don't know if it has a particular shape to it that I need to be aware of, possibly. Uh, the Lost Kingdom looks like the palm branches. Uh, Cloud Kingdom is clouds. Uh, Wooded Kingdom, the outline looks kind of like trees, like pine trees. Uh, Lake Kingdom is a Lake Kingdom. I don't really know if it has any particular shape. And uh, the Cascade Kingdom looks like a whatever that type of dinosaur is. And the Cap Kingdom looks like a, a top hat. So there's a little bit of cool shapes to some of these areas, which is cool. But anyway, let's go to the Luncheon Kingdom. So Bowser wants to make a toast using the sparkle water. Sounds like his wedding preparations are moving along. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Triple jump, yay. Well, there it is. We should read up on the Luncheon Kingdom next. It says here, this country is famous for using the vol a volcano to, pre to prepare a dish called stupendous stew. The Brutals are after some cooking. So we've had a, a little bit of a look at this level. My goodness, they're here, the Brutals. We've seen this level a little bit because we had a power moon over there through um, the power of... Uh, what are they called? The paintings, that's the one. But anyway, we've got some new enemies like these tomato things that when they die, leave uh, lava around, I guess. Hot, melted um, tomato. Also, this pink stuff is lava, basically. And we can take these potaboos. They're called potaboos, but they get cold lava balls in this game, or fireballs. Anyway. Ha ha, we stole a whole boat boatload of this place's stupendous stew for the boss's wedding chow. But I'm gonna head back up the volcano to finish off that stew after I'm done with you. They're also down a brutal on their ship now. But anyway, this boss is the same as it was before. Still very easy. Very easy. So easy. <laughs> and the power moons in this kingdom are light blue like we've already seen. Yahoo! 
Under the Cheese Rocks. This kingdom is definitely one of my favorites. Just the design of it is just super nice. Oh my, what's that smell? Delicious. Big welcome to Mount Fall uh, Bono. Home to the hung uh, hugest flavors anywhere. I'd show you around, but uh, things are kind of on fire right now. That bird up there showed up out of nowhere and took over our stew pot. Just when we were making more of our special stupendous stew too, everyone was getting ready to dig in. Yeah, that is a shame, isn't it? Well, we're gonna have to do something about that. Uh, first of all, let's kick this bean into this pot here. And it gives us some coins, it's cool. Climbing the mountain used to be a piece of cake. But the path to our stupor has crumbled to pieces. There's no way up there now, not unless you can sprout wings or hitch a ride with a... a, a flappy type. Also, if we use Cappy over here, we can get these turnips out. Uh, if we take a, one of these white turnips over to the cooking pot and throw it in... Gives us a few coins, but if we take the gold one... Which we can also throw fairly far... It gives us a power moon. Golden turnip recipe one. Looks like we're gonna have to keep that in mind. But now let's continue with the rest of this level and get a few things while we're here. Like these purple coins, which are like tomato things, I guess. You can see some through there, but we can't get to them. Also, we can shake with the potaboo to make it dash jump, I guess. So it's, this is a pretty cool idea. Especially because this is kind of the soup in the level, except it looks more like just melted ice cream to me. The lava in this level. Okay. We have some hammer bro guys here, which also just throw th frying pans. We can use them to break these cheese rocks though. And it works just like a fire bro, just with um, what they called? Frying pants. Also, there's some purple coins underneath these cheese rocks, so we need to actually clean this up to get those. Those are the ones I missed last time I played this, so I had to remember. Shake to throw faster, just... It's super satisfying, for some reason. Anyway. Very nice. Also, I believe, just quickly while I'm here, let me go up here. And then... Oh, what is this? This is so weird right now. I've not seen this part of the level like this before. Well, there's some purple coins down here, but I'll... This is so weird. Okay, let's just go over here and grab this moon. Big pot on the volcano. Dive in. Well, here we go. Let's grab this checkpoint, for starters. And let's grab one of these protoboos so we can get some purple coins. The thing about these tomatoes that we can kill is we can actually use them as lava platforms, basically, for protoboos to get through. Which is very cool. Grab these purple coins that we saw from earlier. And let's see if I can make my way around well enough. Um, you can just land on them to make them break instantly so you can get uh, what you need. Also, we can light this with the potaboo to get a moon to spawn. Light the lantern on the small island. Now, this next bit is going to be interesting. Um, I actually might want to leave the potaboo in here. I don't know if I can, though. This is a problem. I want to get you there, and then if I can get this other one over here. I want to break you there. 
Now, is that Pedibus do that? Oh, wow, it is still there. That's impressive. Let's just use these as a way to get these purple coins, and there we go. Let's keep moving. I'm going all the way up here. What's this music? Is It just... Mm, it's... It's, it hits my brain the right way, which is interesting. I like this song. Ah. We can also use these guys to fling ourselves up. They're basically the, um, the orange poles in the Metro Kingdom. But anyway, we have this thing now, which we are. And we can press B to twitch. And break out. We're a piece of meat, basically. We can jump over here. And now we are soup. But anyway. We also can't touch this stuff because it's also lava. But anyway, I like the low poly design of this level and the way that the the platforms look like food. Like potatoes and other stuff. Corn, meat. Anyway, multi-moon. Climb up the Cascading Magma. Yowie blasted all the way back here. That is one angry volcano. And it's- and the volcano is still erupting. So there we go, we've been sent back to the beginning. Uh, and the level's a little bit different now, which is interesting. It's so strange the way it changes though. Oh no, with that kind of heat, our stupendous stew will be ruined. We've got to stop that crazy boil. But no way can anyone get up there. Our stew is doomed. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? Well, anyway. Let's keep going so we can change the level back to something somewhat normal. It's... Uh, yeah. This is the thing about, um... Getting the main missions out of the way in a level first. Because otherwise it just... Everything looks wrong. That cave over there is our only way to the peak. Let's go through this pixel level then. And get a few things here. Like these 8-bit purple coins. And also there's a pixel heart back here we can grab if we needed it. But we don't, so we're good. And that's a very small 8-bit section. It doesn't have any power moons in it either. Also, this corn, if you stand on it enough on the edge, it will roll in the direction that you're standing on. Now, the heart, for some reason, I guess. And now, let's see where we go in this area here. This is kind of a secret area that is required to go forward. And we can't land on the platforms, otherwise the potaboo goes away. We have to die in the fire, lava stuff. So let's grab those purple coins, and right back the edge of that jump there is a, is a hidden uh, power moon, so let's grab that. Anyway, back the way we're supposed to go. Oh my goodness, camera. Going forward, we have one torch that we need to light, so let's light that. And let's keep going.
Cockatiel Showdown. Oh, is it? Wait, wait. Does it say cockatiel or cockatiel? Hang on. I might not have read it properly. That's fine. But anyway, if I can get this uh, prior plant to eat that rock, I can capture it. And now, well, it's already lit that torch. So let's light this torch over here using its fire. Since this is a uh, one that actually spits fire. And by lighting those torches, we get a power moon. Light the far-off lanterns. I don't know if I'd call those lanterns, but anyway. Let's get those coins there. I don't know how I knocked that rock into that prior plant, but that's okay. There's a lot of area here that we can go through, but it's not really that necessary to look at for much time, so... Let's just grab this checkpoint, and let's grab these purple coins over here as well. Okay, now we have to climb up this side of the mountain and collect purple coins along the way because there are a, a few spots with purple coins here. You can skip a lot of this area, but purple coins, so. Anyway, we'll be taking this path a few times in the future. Just need to dodge that capsicum. Keep going up. Oh my goodness. Might actually grab one of these things. These things, uh, these platforms here turn around. One side is lava and one side is, uh, actual platform. Let's see if I can just wait for this so I don't die in the lava, I guess. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. It's fine, I've got plenty of health. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Bad. Singing your song. Anyway, I think that's all the purple coins here, so let's quickly look down there to make sure. Yep. And now, we should be good to head to the top. Just need to hop into this cannon thing, which I don't know if I've mentioned yet, but you just hop into it with a potaboo and then press B to launch. Or Y to exit. Okay, it's time for a boss with Cookatiel. Uh, we can also break all this stuff inside of here to make it easier for us to move around. It does also give us some health and coins if we do this, so. It's not necessary, but it's useful if you want to just move around. And now let's go up this goo that it's throwing up, I guess, which is gross. <laughs> Tremendous! And that's just how it goes. So we have to do that three times. Let's keep going. Remember to spin to go faster, or shake to go faster, that one. I'm just suits, uh, used to playing Super Mario Galaxy now, apparently. Saying to spin to do things. Because that's just how that game should have been with the, the text on the screen. Spin to do this. Except now, with this phase, we have to also adapt to the different pa pattern that it is in. I think that's all of the chunks in this soup. Just need to dodge all of its attacks. And then we'll take it out. Just like that. Might even grab these hearts just for money. There we go. This one is the hardest phase though because it's just so difficult to see where in 3D space it all is. If you just keep holding in the direction that he is in, uh, never mind. And it also doesn't last forever, so you have to go quickly. Oh, this is the worst section of this fight. But if I can make it just a little bit more... There we go. And now, just like us, it is now one with the soup.
and now the level has changed again, and and all the moons and pa the purple coins are available to us now, so we can do everything. So let's get started on looking around this place and then getting as much of everything as possible and get th those lit up for a power moon. There's a lot to do in this level. There's a lot. Like, a lot. But anyway, we'll probably get through most of it. Come here, please. Oh my goodness. Give me the potaboo. Give me the potaboo. Thank you. I'm gonna see how much I can do now, but I am not guaranteeing getting everything right now, though. So. Uh, let's go through this little tunnel here. Is there anything actually here? I don't know if there actually is, though. Nope, it's just a tunnel, which allows us to go with the potaboo into different areas. Grab these purple coins. It's actually this area over here that we could have gone to as well, I guess. Um, I could get that one, but I'm going to skip that for now. I'm going to go through this little tunnel over here, though. Hey, there's a way through here. And there's actually not much here. There's not much. There are some purple coins up there that we'll need to get. But I'm gonna hold off on that just for now. Get these purple coins over here. And there's also a cannon here to launch us to another part of the level. So let's do that. Back over here. You can also get out of a potaboo while it's flying through the air, which is useful. For skipping things. Let's get these purple coins right here. Just like that. We already have 49 out of 100 purple coins in this level, which is really good. But the, the rest of them are going to be difficult, probably. Anyway, there's this block again, I guess. And I think on this island here, if we hop off of this potaboo and ground pound, is a power moon. Also, this is salt that I'm standing on. This These piles of stuff is just salt. Salt pile isle. Oh my goodness. Let's go up here and go to the secret area. Oh, run, jump, throw. Let's go. Good song. It's out of time, but anyway. It's fine. This is a cool area. Not gonna lie. You have to use these things to launch yourself around and also thrown in Cappy into these things that throw him further and also just fling yourself all over the place to get to the secret power moon over here. Fork flicking detour. It's this is a, a high quality secret area. There we go. To the summit. We have enough power moons to get to the next level already. Now, let's keep getting everything that's available to us right now. Grab those. I'm gonna go through this as well. Because I think there's also... No, this is not where I thought I was, but that's fine because there's a secret area here. Okay, starting off, we have these platforms that go in and out of the lava. And there's a secret moon right next to the start that is easy to miss. Ah, uh, but now we need to get all these moon pieces everywhere around here without dying. And also be careful of the prana plants because they're here. Oh my goodness, I'm just flinging myself all over the place right now. And it is okay. I know what I'm doing. Ow. I like how I said that, and then I nearly died. But there we go, that's that whole secret area done already. Just need to grab this moon. Mario's on fire, like, Mario's got burns. Mark, well, it's more like, um, ash on him, I guess. It looks more like ash. Anyway, ow, ow, that was not, that was not a good, uh, anyway, there's this time challenge here to do. Need to get the key in back. And these blocks here 
uh, break once we stand on them. Which is not that bad. It's mm, super easy. Just grab that. Also, something interesting that I've heard about is that if you're in a 8-bit 2D section and have two-player, uh, the second player can actually make it so that Mario can just hover, which is an interesting thing. I don't know how useful that is, but it's possibly extremely useful. Another timer challenge. That's a goal, 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 that's a goal. And grab that. That's timer challenge one. And then let's grab these purple coins off the edge here. That's not what I thought was going to happen. I forgot I didn't have Cappy on me. Oh, don't die, please. But anyway, we can get, just get back up into this little hole over here, which is probably the easier way, way of getting in than just trying to go straight into the edge. Straight through the side. Okay. Now, let's keep going back, I guess. There's a lot to do straight away in this level. Just so much. Let's go across here. Probably want to grab some of these Goombas. I don't know how easy they're going to be to get, but I'm going to try and get them. The way that they're stacked makes it particularly difficult. Ow, especially when you need to get them be short for you. What? That shouldn't have happened like that. I died because I was above them. I was expecting that I didn't have to jump, but I guess I just had to jump. Anyway, let's head back since I wasn't that far away. And let's try this again, now that some of them... Nope, they're not what they what I thought they were. That's fine. I'm just going to try and lure these ones over here, because if you can get them next to the edge, it means that you can get this guy and do kind of that, except I've kind of messed up now. Oh, I've really messed up now. Hang on. Let me get past those ones if I can, and then jump on top of them. And I don't actually know how tall this stack needs to be, but this will work, so let's let's just take this where we need to go. Which is over this way. And we actually need to go across this corn with this stack of Goombas. We probably don't need the stack this big, but it's still probably useful to have a stack this big at the same time. There we go. We are way taller than we need to be. Give me that moon. And also get rid of all those Goombas for coins. Love above the lava. Oh, that's a, a ceiling thing there. That's going to make that actually a bit difficult to get up there, if possible. Unless I can get on that edge of that bit there, which is a little bit difficult to time. Okay, hang on. Nope, I can't get that to work, apparently. And I can't get that to work either. Hang on, I should be able to get this to work, and I don't know why I can't. Yeah, let me just cat bounce like that. There we go, that's a lot easier. But anyway, now going back over to this side and skipping over the Goombas. Uh, I want to go right past them, because there's a power moon over there that we can see that we want to get. So let's do that. It's just at the top of this salt pile. There we go. Piled on the salt. Uh, I also want to get the other power moon that I saw down below as well. Which is actually easy to get from up here, so I'm going to do a little bit of this. Just to grab that. Lurking in the pillar's shadow. And this is still the, the, the very first area of this level, so there's so many more things to do everywhere else in the level. And I may have also overlooked some purple coins down there, but I think I have to go back this way to get a Potaboo to get that. So let me see if I can do that quickly. I'm gonna go over this way. I wasn't sure where exactly they were over here. 
Um, but they are definitely over here. Over here, in this little hole, is some purple coins. Very nice. I'm gonna have to get rid of this guy. Oh, and possibly that guy. Or I could just go past them, I guess, as well. But anyway, that is probably it for this episode of Super Mario Odyssey. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.